Nishu was 27 when she became pregnant with her son five years ago. She was working with a startup then. For a young employee like her, working in a startup that was growing fast had been satisfying. She had a greater say in the company's operations and had got the opportunity to play varied roles. Like other startups, her company offered unusual and attractive perks to their young staff. But as Nishu was to discover, this was only one part of the story. Startups are not geared towards major life events experienced by their employees. When Nishu informed her employers about her pregnancy, she was told that the company had no paid maternity leave policy. The reason, they said, was that they were a startup. I was asked to meet the head and he said, you know how the pregnancy scene is, how women go through this, so better you take an off. I've gone on the roof of the office and I was like, I think I've done a big mistake getting pregnant. Nobody used to come to my desk or interact with me. And also I came to know that they are hiring somebody on my place. It was like a rumour being spreaded across that she's pregnant and she is not able to take up her work. It proved to be a challenging time for her. She had no option but to quit the company two months before her delivery. Do you think this was a major career setback for you? See, definitely there is a setback. You can't bounce back in the same sense. That is true. When a company offers a paid maternity leave, it sends out a signal that the woman employee is a valuable contributor and that her parental and professional roles can coexist. The Maternity Benefit Act of 1961 makes it mandatory for all companies employing more than 10 people to provide a three-month paid maternity leave and Nishu's company employed about 50. In August last year, the government doubled the paid maternity leave to six months for women in the organized sector. The Maternity Benefit Amendment Bill has been passed in the Rajya Sabha and is currently pending in the Lok Sabha. We have um, children who are malnourished and the basis of that malnourishment is the uh, lack of breastfeeding in the beginning and lack of attention and care. Now, um, there are lots of um, joint families, but there are lots of single, single families and those, the trend is towards a single family. Now the woman who comes to work leaves the baby behind and then what? Um, what happens to the baby? So the baby goes very early on into unnatural feed and then for the rest of its life it's sickly. So we just came from that area and said we need to have the mother and child bonding in many ways. We never give women a chance to heal. She's had a major thing happen to her. She's had stitches, she's been in hospital, she's, you know, had nine months of her body changing. Why don't we give her some time to heal as well? And then also to come to terms with the nervousness of being a new mother. A company is sensitive to the woman's and baby's needs when it allows a woman to take time off after her delivery without the risk of losing her job. The rationale is that a six and a half month maternity leave is essential for the health and well-being of the mother. According to World Health Organization, six months of exclusive breastfeeding is crucial for the child's early development. And some corporates like PepsiCo have not waited for the law to determine their policies. For over two years now, it has granted a generous maternal leave policy of six months. We want women in the workplace. One is business sense. You know, they bring a whole amount of perspective as consumers, as our customers. The second is the amount of richness in decision making, having different types of people make that decision. So the women's perspective on any decision making is, is amazing. So, you know, your talent pool immediately is so much bigger. A maternity leave policy allows companies to retain talent and expertise, sending out a message that the company is gender sensitive. However, a number of companies have failed to consider this issue seriously and have not put in place a maternity leave policy. Sukriti's experience was similar to Nishu's. Her company wasn't pleased when she announced her pregnancy to them one month into her new job. When I announced my pregnancy 
to the employers mm-hmm. there was a lot of uh, apprehension it was met with a lot of suspicion about why didn't you tell us earlier i even gave them because i was so annoyed with them and i gave them my scans and all because they were trying to tell me that you were already pregnant at the time of interview and you didn't tell me i was like you know here it is i'm not lying it was harassment what happens is they wanted to put me on a consultancy basis so if you're a consultant uh, you're not entitled to any uh, leaves what that would mean on paper would be that i would say that okay these three months or six months i can't work mm-hmm. so then they don't have to pay me anything for those six months at all when the stress of dealing with pregnancy discrimination at work started taking a toll on her she quit however sukriti was lucky to get another job months before her delivery that offered her paid maternity leave it's a chunk of money that you have to give to someone without getting anything in return but what you get in return is a much more loyal employee if i'm if i can't walk it's a disability but if I, you have ramps all around my house i'm unable to do anything so this maternity leave is just a way to enable the woman to work according to startup companies they depend heavily on funding from investors for survival and these investors seek returns they say they have little resources to spare business ki language mein agar aap lijiye if you have someone who's getting married or is going to get a child uske minimum pay grade would be above 40 to 50000 and uh, 50000 rupees mahina and when you talk about 6 months you're paying somewhere around 3 lakhs pehle uske ek replacement find karo us level ke liye and 6 months ke liye uske sath bhi kaam karo so at the end of the day you're somewhere paying around 6 lakhs twice the amount for the same thing that's a bad idea <laughs> we are already cutting corners jab hum jitne bhi startups hai wo ghar ke andar ya kahi na kahi aisi jagah pe bane hote hai jahan pe rent nahi dena padta they are already cutting costs on rent electricity and infrastructure while a few startup companies like flipkart urban ladder in mobi already offer 6 months of paid maternity leave others believe the government's move to make the 6 month maternity leave compulsory will compel them to hire staff on contract a contract that doesn't promise benefits like a paid maternity leave after that you will say if the government's responsibility bhai tum insurance bhi inka dekh lo medical claim bhi dekh lo sab kuch dekh lo aur tum startup bhi apna khol lo bhai company nahi khol sakti hindustan mein i will start hiring more people on contractual basis cause uh, then aapke paas uh, maternity leave nahi hai insurance nahi hai kuch nahi hai nothing against them but if this is just a business decision right now nothing else studies point to an increase in informalization of jobs in the formal sector only 17% of the total indian workforce is employed in the organized sector over half of them are actually employed informally which means only a mere 8% of the total workforce has access to social security benefits like a paid maternity leave experts point out that there is no mechanism to monitor the reach of the law we find even in the organized sector where women should be getting there are ways that employers go or get away and get around it so women are employed under contract and they're not shown in the records it reaches out to a very small proportion of uh, women so it needs to be expanded the definitions of who a working woman is needs to be expanded and also who monitors because currently because the government is not spending any money on this the government is also not monitoring this act it's completely left between the employer and the employee